640. Welcome back to Great Day. Final day of April, ladies and gentlemen. And how they say the showers bring May flowers. The snow, what does the snow bring? Well, Pain. we'll talk about that Pain. here in just a little bit. But want to talk about looking through the windshield of your vehicle. That's what's on the docket for today. That's it? right. We're going to talk a little bit about visibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, more importantly, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, rock chip repair and crack repair on windshields versus replacing an entire windshield. Because a lot of people, if you get a little chip, they'll go, ah, it's not that big a deal, and then they'll let it go. Exactly, and then it becomes a big chip, and it becomes a big crack. And, and, and oftentimes, uh, that damage can be replaced on uh, windshields. Uh, you can fix a chip, you can fix a crack, and the sooner you fix it after it occurs, the better the repair is going to turn out. Because and why over, is that? Well, over time, you get dirt and moisture inside of that chip. And even though we try to clean that stuff out prior to repairing it, uh, some of it gets embedded in there. So when you when you go to make the repair or fill it, uh, it's trapped in there. And then you, have a, a, you can visibly see what's going on. So it's best to take care of it as quickly as possible after it occurs. Well, people are saying, well, I have a, maybe I cracked my windshield or I got a chip in my windshield. I don't have the money to fix that. What am I going to do? You, you know, that, that's a, a great point, Lou. Uh, oftentimes, your insurance company will waive your deductible and pay to have uh, the damage repaired on the windshield, so so there's no out-of-pocket cost to you. And, and even if there is, uh, or you don't want to make an insurance claim, or your insurance, you know, won't waive the deductible. I mean, you're talking, you know, 30 to 50 dollars, depending on the damage to fix it, which is certainly a lot less than your deductible if you had to replace a whole windshield. Okay, what what does a windshield go for nowadays? You know, they're they're going to vary in price from you know probably 400 to a thousand dollars but more importantly wow. you look you look at the deductible on your insurance because uh, if you make a claim that's typically what, what you're gonna pay mm. and uh, you know that's gonna be 250 500 or we've even seen insurance deductibles at a thousand dollars on vehicles now mm. so it's 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 always less expensive to, to replace the the windshield so cost is you know one of the main reasons why you would want to fix glass on your car, uh, but the other thing is quality, and, and this is a big thing that, that nobody talks about or very few people talk about. Um, but the glass that comes in your vehicle, they call it OEM, Original uh, Equipment, Equipment Manufacturers, mm -hmm. uh, that's high quality glass. They, they've done tests with it. It meets certain specifications and stuff. Um, sometimes <clears throat> windshields that are replaced in a vehicle. Uh, are an aftermarket or maybe not as high a quality of glass. And so you think you're replacing your windshield, you're thinking, well, I don't want to fix the windshield, I don't want to fix a crack or a chip, I'm just going to get a whole new one. And the one that you put in maybe isn't as good a quality as the one that was taken out. Now, what would be the down the downfall of some, one of those type of windshields? It, it's going to chip and crack easier. easier. Mm -hmm. So now that the chip or crack you didn't want to fix, you created an issue. I've sat in cars, um, and you've been in a lot of cars throughout your life, where, where the whole windshield just kind of has this almost chip chipped up haze to it, yeah, mm -hmm. I've that, seen that. that's usually aftermarket glass that doesn't meet OEM quality, and, and you, it's almost like somebody sandblasted the windshield. It's, yeah. a, it's a visibility issue. There's some that are even uh, poor enough quality where it looks a little wavy, almost like you're looking through a lens of a gla exactly. glass. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah, exactly. And, and the other thing to keep in mind is, uh, it, it seems odd, but the glass in a car, the windshield, uh, makes up at least half of the rollover strength of that vehicle in an well, accident. I didn't know that. It's structural. To, to keep the, 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 the roof and stuff from caving in. So you want to have good glass. And there, there's a lot of different specifications for glass. They've, they've got one where, you know, it's a four-pound object, shouldn't come through the windshield at 40 miles an hour. And there's, there, there's a lot of different stuff there we could talk all day about. But, um, the, you know, the quality is the issue. And, and then the other thing that, that we see is, is cars will come in and, and the, the, they'll have a windshield leak. And, and what happens is windshields, the only thing that holds a windshield in a car is, is glue, adhesive. It's glued in, it's a special glue, it's a urethane. Um, but, but when you go to replace that windshield, you have to go in with, with a knife or a device and cut that glue out. You have to cut the urethane out. And, and when that happens, there's a potential that you could cut through the paint because it's painted where the windshield sits mm -hmm. in. Oh. So now you broke through the paint Moisture can get in there. You develop a rust issue. Have you ever seen a car where it's got the little rust pockets around the outside of the windshield? Yeah. It's because the windshield was replaced. 
And Somebody scratched it. Exactly, exactly. And then you run into a rust issue, and now all of a sudden you've got a leak in your car. So, you know, anytime you can retain that factory seal and, and the, the the factory glass and stuff in there, you're, you're just going to be better off. Now, what can somebody do to help prevent the, getting the scratch on your on your vehicle like that? Well, <clears throat> an experienced person mm -hmm. uh, installing the windshield. Uh, using the correct tools, um, you know, I, I know like when, tools that don't scratch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got you got to you got to cut glue, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. so it's going to be sharp, and, mm -hmm. and it, you know, to some extent, it, it's going to be avoidable. But but you know, there's a primer that they should put in there. Ah, there you go. You, you know, and 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 using the right type of of urethane or, or glue to put the windshield in. You know, there again, we've got a a bonding issue and a strength issue, and and right. and the right stuff is expensive. So you know, if you've got somebody who's trying to cut a corner. And you don't use a cheaper product, you could end up with an issue there as well. Yeah, so Jason, using the aquarium silicone is going to work. <laughs> okay, so it works, it works okay on aquarium. Well, sometimes they leak too. <laughs> well, they have that spray. You can just spray and it seals everything. There you go. Clean. There you go. Yeah, yeah you the can, flex seal. Yeah, yeah flex yeah, the flex seal. seal. Yeah, you can use a screen door now, for the bottom all right, of your so boat. I, so I have, a chip, I have a chip in my windshield. I need to get it replaced uh, or get the chip fixed, I should say. Not get the windshield replaced. I want to get the chip fixed. But... Ron, I don't have five hours to drive over to your place and do all this. <laughs> you, you know, uh, most places that, that repair windshields, uh, ourselves included, uh, will do mobile service. Uh, so you could set that up in advance, um, just like your car's down in the parking lot right now. As far as you, you see. Know. Well, yeah, or it was when it you was left. It was when I, yeah. I left, yeah. But um, I thought I saw it leaving. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at work from you know 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. can you can you come fix my windshield and, and weather permitting mm -hmm. um, you know they'll be able to do that so well now you tell me well it's supposed to rain later on today so could you get on it I have to ship too. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll catch it on my way out okay perfect yeah. is a week like this where you have an 85 degree high today and a 40 degree high maybe on Thursday is that tough on a windshield that has a crack or absolutely something? absolutely if it's already been compromised mm -hmm. that temperature change or or the zero degree day and then you turn your heater on and you defrost, defrost your windshield. It. I mean, I mean, it, it, you know, glass is like anything else. It'll expand and contract. And so, so you end up with that crack will grow. Uh, the other thing is, I, I remember one time I was on my way to Kansas City and, and, and this is a prime time of year for rock chips because mm -hmm. you've got the gravel left on the road from the winter time and stuff. Mm -hmm. Road construction's kicking in, there's rocks. And, and something kicked up a rock and it put a chip in my windshield and there's nothing you can do. I mean, yeah. you're, you're on a road trip, sure. but all of a sudden it started to crack and, and I watched just from the vibration of the road and, and you know, if you hit railroad tracks or something like that, I watched that crack work its way all the way across my windshield. And I mean, there, you know, I had to replace it. It was the length of, by right. the time I got back, but there was nothing, nothing you could nothing do in that instance. Now it is illegal to drive around with, I don't know what the length is, but the, the crack in the windshield, I believe. Great, great point. Great point. Um, um, it, it is, and, and I don't quote me on this, but but I, I think it's six or eight inches, and and it cannot be uh, in the driver's view. So basically, wherever the windshield wiper for the driver would go is considered the driver's view. Right. Um, that that is that is illegal, but. You know, uh, how how well is that enforced? Who knows? I mean, I see some pretty bad-looking yeah. stuff driving around. Right, right. True. All right, well, we have a viewer question. Ready, we do. Ready to get to a viewer question? Yeah, let's awesome. give away an oil change. We're going to give away an oil change to uh, Kenny Boatwright. Oh, okay. And, and uh, Kenny uh, had wrote in. He said, hey, Ron, I have an older car. I put new plugs and wires in it, and I clean the carbon from the throttle body. All great ideas, Kenny. Jeez, um, he's handy. And, yeah, that's right. And he knows he has a hole in his muffler. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I put holes in my muffler because I couldn't afford the cherry bombs to make them loud. But, <laughs> but anyway, maybe Kenny's doing this. I don't know. But anyway, Kenny wants to know if the hole in the muffler could cause a miss. He said it, when it seems like it runs a little rough for five to six seconds after he starts it, and then it smooths out to an intermittent miss. Um, doesn't notice it when he's driving. It's just at idle. And, and when Kenny explains this to me, depending on what type of car it is, the first thing that comes to mind is that that cylinder's flooded. It's compromised when you go to start the vehicle up. Mm. So things that I think of and would look at, Kenny, would be if a fuel injector's leaking. Once you shut the car off, it drips a little fuel in there. So when you first start it up, the cylinder's you know, one of the one or two of the cylinders is is flooded, and it's trying to burn it off. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Or another thing that we often see is uh, that's a telltale sign of a cylinder head gasket that's starting to leak. 
You turn the car off, there's still pressure on the cooling system, pushes a little bit of antifreeze into that cylinder and until it gets cleared out. So um, I think Kenny might be on the, on, on the fringe of a, an early warning sign to, to what might be a, a bigger problem mm -hmm. and should probably uh, get that checked out. I would recommend he leaves it uh, two days with his mechanic because then they can duplicate it starting oh, the first thing in the morning. Oh, leave it sit. Exactly, okay. exactly. Duplication's the key on something like that. All right, perfect. So, so right. got them all, yeah, him all hooked up with an oil change. We got Kenny hooked up with an oil change, and we also want to remind people we still have the KCWI 23 special where you can get the Aquapel windshield treatment for the snow that may come later yeah. on <laughs> uh, and, and a pair of wiper blades for $23. You, you can't beat that deal anywhere in town. No way, shape, or form. Nope. So take advantage of it. Tell everybody where they can find your place. You know, it's easiest just to go to our website, westsideautopros.com. There's a locations tab. Uh, we're just in Clive. We're on 90 second uh, court uh, just off of Swanson Boulevard. Beautiful. Well done again, young man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it is 10 minutes before 7 o'clock. This is a great day.